Hundreds of influential leaders from the worlds of business, government and academia are meeting at a summit in Portugal next month, looking at the problems which currently face the world. On the agenda at the meeting in the coastal town of Cascais will be such issues as the rise of populism and the problems of globalisation. Frank Jürgen Richter is the chairman of the think tank Horasis, which is organising the meeting, and he told Jackie Leonard more. It's a gathering of 600 business leaders meeting government, civil society and the academia as well. What we would like to do is to inspire the future, giving like a long-term vision to the world and trying to change the world. Is there a danger that it is just 600 really well-connected, successful people chatting amongst themselves? We try to avoid this typical, you know, trap of networking. Whenever you go to an event uh, these days, it's all about, you know, cocktail receptions and networking. We really want to shape the future and, and try to instill changes. And what do you think are the key issues that your delegates are going to be interested in this year? You no, know, the current state of the world is quite gloomy. We are... Um, uh, seeing a world which is uh, increasingly complex and ultimately uh, out of order. Uh, we are witnessing a lot of systemic uh, risks and uh, challenges, uh, starting with the geopolitical crisis in the Middle East, the rise of populism, and finally the demise of globalization uh, everywhere in the world. And we see that many of our leaders are not really playing according to the rules. Think about trade. Uh, the uh, upcoming trade war between the US and China, President Trump, of course, Xi Jinping on the other side, we don't really see uh, the outcome. So we'll talk about trade. Secondly, um, the geopolitical crisis, what's happening in Syria right now, and trying to find a solution. So you've gathered together hundreds of the brightest and the best in the world to talk about the state of the world and where it's going. At the end of this event, what do you hope to achieve? Will you have a policy document? What will you What will you have at the end? What are you looking for? Absolutely. We will issue a report, a white paper at the end, and uh, not only uh, you know, issuing it to delegates, but to the whole world and saying what could be the spirit of Kashkais and uh, creating this spirit of Kashkais, which is um, uh, standing for openness and open society, and uh, which is trying to, to really change the world. So it's not only, you know, discussion and dialogue, uh, but it's really change which is happening. We would like to inspire the future. Frank Jürgen Richter, the chairman of Horasis.